A strikes at the critical angle, strikes the surface 2. So this is phase 2 or surface 2. And this is surface 1. It strikes surface 2 at the critical angle. And we told that it's 45. So basically, we are informed that at the critical angle. And we told that it's 45. So basically, we are informed that that the critical angle for total internal reflection, so I get now total internal reflection here, is 45 degrees. So I want to find theta. So what I'm given is, I'm given that the angle here is 60 degrees first. At the apex where surface one meets surface two. I'm also given that the critical angle for total internal reflection is 45 degrees. I want to find theta. To begin with, from before even you try to determine theta, from the given, the fact that the critical angle is 45, directly this allows you to determine something, which is what? The index of refraction. Because if you have a a medium here and then air here. What is the, when do you have the critical angle? When do you have total internal reflection? When sine theta is one over n. In general, if you have, if you have here n1 and here n2, then when whenever sine theta critical is n1 over n2. In this case, of course, or, or I mean n2 over n1. So in this case, it's 1, the n2, the air is 1, the end, so it's 1 over n. So this tells us that sine, since I know that sine theta critical, is 1 over n. This means that I know that that sine 45 degrees is 1 over n. But sine 45 is root 2 over 2. So root 2 over 2 is 1 over n. This means that n is 2 over root 2, which is square root of 2. So n is the square root of 2 in this case, which is 1.41. So. so basically, being given the critical angle is essentially the same as being given the index of refraction. OK. So now we know n is root 2. So how do I, so now that I know n, that n is root 2, all I need to do is find, if I want to find theta, I know that sine theta, I know that n air sine theta is equal to n sine the angle here. Let's call the angle alpha. So sine alpha. So all I need is to find what? Alpha, because I know n now. n is root 2. And I know that n of air is 1. So this means that sine theta is square root of 2 sine alpha. So if I want theta, all I need to do is find alpha. Now comes the other piece of information, which we haven't used yet, which is the fact that the angle here is 60. From that, I can get alpha.
because if I extend this, this is perpendicular, so that's 90 degrees. And this is perpendicular, so that's 90 degrees. So 90 and 90, that's 180. So the sum of the angle here and 60 must be also 180, because any quadrilateral like this one, the sum of the angles must be 360. So the angle here is 120 degrees. Because 120 plus 60 is 80. So that's 120 degrees. So this means that alpha plus 45 is 60 to make 180 for the triangle. So I have alpha plus 45 degrees is 60 degrees. This means that alpha is 15 degrees. So sine theta, the square root of 2 sine 15 degrees. So using a calculator, you can obtain sine 15 degrees. This would be close to 0 0.25 close to that, times root 2, which is about 1.4. So that's about 0 0.35. So sine theta is about 0 0.35. And so theta is about 22, 23 degrees, something like that. But anyway, you want, this is just a rough estimate. If you want an accurate answer, you just go to your calculator, calculate sine 15, multiply by root 2, and take the sine inverse of that, and that gives you theta.